Hello everybody, it's uh, December the 12th, which means it's Advent tile number 12. And as you can see, it's going to join a few tiles today. So it's one of those sort of that's start, starting to show where this design's sort of heading. So I've actually stuck it down so you can see it's it's secure there and it's going to sort of bring these together to uh, to get us going. So, all right, I think the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to come in with a pencil. I'm just going to make it a little bit larger because there's some things here that we need to just check upon to make sure that they're going to sort of work right. And I'm looking at this design here to start with. Morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. And this particular design is going to sort of work its way. How do I how do I sort of explain it? It's sort of down and round here. So it's going to it's going to take a little bit, but. To, Let's, let's have a look. I think, first of all, you see I've got part of a space here. This is going to create sort of a um, a ball shape. You see, we just follow that through. You can see where that's coming. And then this particular one here, this shape, and it's going to join there. And then here we're going to come round and it's going to come and join there. Does that sort of make sense there? Let's have a look. Okay. okay, so I'm just going to come in with my pen now. And if I mark in that line there. Now if you actually want to put tile 16 in and draw this sort of a space or shape in pen to start with, that's absolutely fine. It's just that um, I'm trying to do a tile a day, so I'll uh, I'll wait till I get to 16 before I do that. You see there, it comes around and creates that kind of a shape. Okay, so far so good. So we've got a little bit here and there's a few things that have got to come out of this one. So let's go a little bit bigger so you can see where I'm, uh, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with uh, um, another sort of shape coming in here, so it's one. And then I've got two little ones here. So we'll have two and three. And that leaves me with one in the middle. So this one here, I'm just going to put some little dots in the bottom there. All right. Now, if you find that you haven't got enough to do all of those, don't worry about it. We'll just miss one out. So just choose the one you want to miss and we'll just make it into four instead. So then this one here, I'm just going to create a little sort of wide loop shape. You can see where that's sort of going off into the distance there. And then this one, I'll start sort of about here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do a line either side. You see it doesn't quite touch. It just comes from one side then the next. And just working your way down. There we go. Oh, good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday. <laughs> there we go. So this one, I'm going to leave completely tangle free. And then this here, you can see where it's going to sort of take on the uh, design from above there. I'll do another one there, see? So that sort of brings that one together. And then... Let's create another one. Now, of course, I'm doing this really quickly, so you can take your time over it. You don't need to uh, be as quick with it. Certainly on a Sunday. It's, it's kind of nice, isn't it? It's a bit murky over here, but the sun is out, so not a problem. And, uh, a little bit more prep to do for the shows afterwards. So, uh, I always like to make sure that I'm fully fully prepped and I've got everything ready. So it's, it's kind of a big job, but I do enjoy doing it. It means I get to <laughs> craft with my products. Because, of course, you can imagine it gets a little bit busy and I don't always get the time. So I've even managed to get in a uh, sewing sample this time. So. Right. That should be nice. I can't wait to show you, actually. They're all over at Create and Craft. They're being photographed for the little uh, ad thing that they do. 
I'll share a few over the week with you. Alright, and see how that's going. And uh, just sort of working it around. See, so once you've got the shape in, it doesn't seem as tricky anymore. You just sort of enjoy the, the process, really. And just uh, add those tangles. And I did notice uh, Jenny posted, I don't know whether it was yesterday or this morning, that she's actually doing different tangles into hers. And I think that's a brilliant idea. Just go with the flow. This is just... A a plan if you want to do a different tangle that's, or you want to tangle it all after it's done and just do the main shape then that is absolutely fine don't have a problem with that at all but it's just about enjoying it and not worrying too much about how it's going to end up it's just having a bit of fun isn't it and just uh, not knowing really where this is going it's, it's taking you out of your comfort zone a little bit and then of course it's uh you know, giving you a little bit more of uh, confidence to try something a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to fit that in there. But see, this one's going to come round here. So I'm just going to bring that. I'm going to follow the sweep, you see, to there. So this is going to do the same sort of thing. So let's take that sweep in and around there. And then, of course, that little petal shape is going to go underneath and maybe a little bit of another one there okay so here we can take these grid lines and we can extend them let's join that up and just sort of keep it going and of course turn it this way and follow that line and just sort of Extend that grid out into that pattern there, or that shape. Okay. Oh, Joe, don't worry about it. You could always do, you know, start with this one and then work your way backwards when you get time. It's not a problem. See, putting these little designs in. I don't want you to feel you're under any pressure to complete this or to do uh, anything else with it. And of course, I've given you until the 31st of December, because of course the last one's going to be on the 24th. But you've got till the 31st of December to post your final pieces. So then I'm going to, I uh, don't know how I'm going to choose yet, but I think I'm going to give some little prizes away. But you don't have to, that's not what it's all about. It's just about you taking part and having a bit of fun and enjoying this, isn't it? So there we go, you can see how it's started to sort of sweep together now. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of the tile. So looking here, I've got a little bit of a zigzaggy kind of oppression here. So I, I really need to bring this sort of down here. So if I just put a bubble back part way, here we are. That's going to just sort of help me to gauge where those bubbles have got to go to create that little row. You see, just joining them together. It doesn't matter if it's straight or not, it's fine. There we go. All right. There we go. Uh, Ro Rose, yeah, yeah, just um, post your image on the uh, Santangle group page so we can all see them. It'd just be nice to put them all together, won't it, and have a look. And then I think we'll probably do sort of a, uh, a random name pick maybe and then put all your names in it and apart and pick one out or pick two out there we go see here i've got this sort of odd shape that's fine i'm just gonna fill in some lines there it the fact we we knew it, that not everything was going to match perfectly so it's okay plus once it's shaded and put together as a whole page Oh, Joanne, it's, it's no problem at all. You just do the bit you can do. It's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's have a look here. I've got, got a couple coming down here, but before I do that, I'm going to bring in... See, I've got a line here. I'm going to bring in a bit of a curve there. There we go. See, just sort of joining in with that one there. 
If yours doesn't, honestly, it's not a problem. So we can always make this work various ways. There we go. I think it's good, Joe, that you make all your presents. I think that's a lovely idea. It mean, means a lot. I think certainly these days, when time's a commodity, it is for me anyway, it's, uh, it's nice, you know, if I take time to actually make something for somebody. Certainly. I mean, I do have uh, I've got Christmas cards for the neighbours. Yeah, but I did make a few of those when we did the Christmas in June. Was it June or July? So, when you had prepared for those. I think I'm just going to sort of work that down. See, they're getting smaller. And then here, I'm just going to fill that gap in there. There we go. Okay. So, if you look... Here I've sort of started a, a tangle as well. I've got some bubbles. So don't try and make them the same sort of size. We want different here. I'm just going to fill it in as best we can. And then work our way down. And then let's just sort of add a thicker line in the centre and a thin line either side and of course if some of you have drawn bubbles a bit smaller then just put two lines in and they don't have to match it's your design whatever you want to do so I'm just going to put two in there so it's not um it's not a problem and this this whole thing's not to stress you out it's just to give you a little bit of a tangle moment each day and the 10 15 minutes is easier to manage than an hour so we'll uh, go with that so i'm just gonna fill in the gaps now any little spaces left and we are still adding that little bit in there okay there we go so we've got um, a row here so I'm going to turn the tile slightly just so I can work on it and I'm going to add in a little curve there we go and then this way and again just sort of following it through see I'm going over now onto that last tile there just to fill that space in and stop there uh, Rose, I'm not going to have tiny tiles on the show, no. They're all on my website, though. But, um, there is going to be the new monochrome set on the show. I've got really uh, a, new, a new material that we use now. It's There's uh, a, certainly a black and a white, and then there's uh, four different greys in there. They're beautiful. So, you know, when you talk about the monochrome tiny tiles that I'm working on, with my other design, then uh, that's uh, that's what's going on. Oh, there's a few other things as well, so I'm trying to keep it a bit of a secret. I wanna, it's like having a, a bit of a surprise. You don't want to want to know what's in your Christmas presents before you open them. But I'll share a few things next week. So here we are. Okay, I'm just filling these bubbles in just on the inside of this lovely shape here there we are and again I think I'm probably going to leave that one until I actually go into tile number 19 over there which is next Sunday isn't it I think so okay these little triangle shapes now I'll start with this one because it's a full shape I'm going to put a loop inside and then another one this side and another one this side and then little bubbles in the gaps and then of course any little bits left I'm just gonna fill with a bit of ink okay so see I could come in and do this one now because you just sort of know what the shape is so you're just gonna get part of one in there going underneath and there we are so now I'm glad actually now that I did um, a random shape because I think it's helped us to you know, match the tiles up without thinking it's got to look like something. I think the design's going to be lovely. Certainly if you uh, colour them, 
and I'm, I'm gonna really get on my game and uh, get my actual one coloured in so you will be able to see at the end how it looks if it's coloured so uh, a few bits to do there then of course because it's classes next weekend and Paint craft on Friday, it's going to be quite busy. There we go. Okay, so it's just this one. See, I'm going to leave this. You can see where it's headed, it's got some lines. So I'm going to wait till that four bubbles in so I can work out exactly where the, the sort of bubble in the center is going to be. So uh, this one I can bring a little bit in, and I'm going to bring in that lovely little curl almost all the way, and then pull it back, and go to the point. And then same sort of this way and then back to the point and then again back to the point you see so backwards and forwards each one facing a different way so uh, just sort of stop at certain points I'll go a bit further there see and then back round let's put one in here of course this design's going to sort of work its way down and along whatever shape comes in at number 19 so I'm only going to go so far I think I'll do another one in here and then I can come in and I can actually add the rest see where here I can come in and add the rest later so I've got a bit of a aura inside there so again any of these little spaces the ones that are in close for now anyway I'm just gonna aura inside just follow the shape round and then a little bit you see just a little bit there and again I'm gonna leave this section until we actually come to it with tile 19 so let's uh, have a look at that see if that's what we do I'm just gonna what about that pencil line that we put in, you know, to sort of guide us in the first part? And let's uh, take it out and have a look. Look at that, see how it's starting to sort of form? You can see here now, you know, where that's going to go. You've got this is going to come down here, so is this, and a bubble there. And it's lovely, isn't it? Kind of, it's nice how it's sort of coming together. So that's how it's going to sort of look. I can't go any zoom any further there we go so that is where we, we're sort of at at the minute so tomorrow we're going to head over to this side and, and sort of finish this bit off here I suppose so a few bits to go on there and uh, that's without any shading whatsoever so if I bring in tile 12 that I've done on my monochromes here we go and shaded it in you can see there you're starting to get this lovely sort of curl shape I have actually added that bit in there you can see it's gonna work together but that's sort of where where we're headed at the minute I love how this sort of sweeps around it's gonna come all the way and then of course you're gonna get these extra bits coming down here so hopefully it's gonna work out it seems promising we're not quite half well I suppose we are halfway so uh, I'm really looking forward to doing the rest of it. So there's the one shaded, tile number 12 there, right next to 16. You can see how I've penciled in again with these little spaces that we, we did earlier. And then this is it without any shading. So there we go. So whichever way you want to do it, whether you want to do it in colour, ink, whatever, shade, not shade, it's entirely up to you. But there we go, tile number 12, on the 12th of December. So I'll see you tomorrow for tile number 13. So have a lovely day. Take care and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.